Good afternoon, ladies and gents, families and friends. Welcome to the celebration of the marriage of Kelly and Dan. It's a particular pleasure to welcome Denise and Trevor and Danny's brother Matty. To bridesmaids and ushers, you all look beautiful and very handsome. Thank you for all the support you've given both Danny and Kelly, and long may it continue. To the best men, David and Scott, you got him here, <laughs> in one piece. It was hard, it was hard. Dressed and sober, well done. <laughs> Whether you've played a large or a small part in Kelly and Danny's lives, thank you for coming, and thank you for giving them both all the support you do. In time honored tradition, it's now my opportunity to give a little insight about Kelly. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, Kelly, I am truly blessed to have you in my life. And it is with immense pride and joy I stand here today giving this speech as a father to God. I reflect on how Kelly, the avid bookworm, <laughs> came into my life at the age of five. She has now blossomed into the strong-minded, beautiful, and charming young lady who I have the honour of giving away today. It never ceases to amaze me how you simply take everything in your stride with such strength and passion. If your nan Slade would be able to be here with, in person today, I'm sure she would agree with me, but I'm sure she is present here with you today. For those of you who didn't know Kelly as a young girl, you wouldn't have known how much she enjoyed reading, which made me recall, <laughs> made me recall a note from her grandpa slave, and I will read it back to you. Kelly, I have chosen this book for you, as I know you enjoy reading. However, this book is the first one of a series of seven aimed at nine years old or older. What, each one is a complete story, but running through the seven is also another complete ongoing story. There is only one published per year as they've been written as they go. They only cost 4 99 So spread over seven years, it's not bad. If you like it, let me know, and I will get the next six if they're available. Less. Harry Potter. <laughs> She's worth a billion dollars. I think it was quite successful. And as for Kelly, Harry Potter is Harry Potter. He is held in high esteem for Kelly. For Danny, the sport loving, competitive man that he is, I'm glad you've turned up today and you tore yourself away from the golf course or the football pitch. As we all know, Daddy is somewhat of a sporting fanatic, but I'm sure he will agree with me today that he has just acclaimed his biggest prize of all in marrying Kelly. What I admire, what I admire about Danny most of all is that he is level-headed, down-to-earth, and above all, wholeheartedly loves Kelly. Even when he proposed to her on New Year's Eve last year, he still persevered in proposing, even though she was slightly merry. <laughs> Probably one of the most memorable moments I've had the pleasure of being in Danny's company is the day he asked me for Kelly's hand in marriage. Downstairs in the house, and he hoodwinked me into thinking he had a problem with his shower upstairs. <laughs> so up the stairs we went, had a look at the shower, started taking the shower apart, and he went, no, 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 don't worry about the shower, there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Can I marry Kelly? <laughs> <laughs> For me, what it demonstrates is, at the core of Danny, he's a traditionalist. He does things the right way, and he did it properly, by asking for Kelly's hand in marriage. Something I admired about him and still do admire to this day. Don't teach him well. He did, well done. <laughs> As with Kelly and her nan Slade, Danny, I suspect that your gramps would be looking down on you now, 
how a life you look at him and standing there very proud indeed of the money you've become. You both continue to surprise me in achievements that you make and you continue to make. What makes you both a great team is that you're both determined, resourceful and good company to be with. But above all, there is an obvious spark between you both. Long may it continue. To both of you, I wish you a very bright and happy marriage. Although if you can hold off on presenting me with a grandchild for a couple of years, I might reduce the grey hairs that I've got. <laughs> if I can pass on a couple of words of wisdom, they would be to keep things fresh and give each other surprises. Try not to take each other for granted and don't dwell on the negatives. Never go to bed on an argument. Trust me, Danny, it doesn't work. <laughs> Success in marriage is not about finding a person you can live with. It's more about finding a person that you can't live without. Before I hand you over to Danny and the best man, what I'm sure will be an entertaining speech. Who will have to follow you? <laughs> can I ask you to charge your glasses? Brush it off. And join me in a toast. Here's to the past. For all that you have learned, here's to the present, for all that you share, here's to the future, for all that you look forward to together. Can you please stand and raise your glasses? George. Kelly and Danny. Kelly and Danny. Kelly and Danny. <laughs>